today's video is going to be my August but I mean it is just crazy to think the fact that it's literally almost August I feel like I just filmed my July probably like two weeks ago um, I think I just did anyways but that's besides the point it is almost the eighth month of 2020 which is still very shocking to me how fast time is going I feel like this, this film, my plan with me is all just about how fast time is going and how shocking it is to me. Who knows? But today, in this month, I'm doing a lot of crazy things. Uh, let's just say um, the accessorystationary.com website is coming in August. And that I am going to be changing my planners, planning system up a lot. The weekly dashboard thing worked pretty well, but it wasn't optimal for the school year. So you, got, you guys hear me talk about more about in my voiceover but I will mention that the fact that I'm going a little bit simpler this month than I normally do as you probably saw I got a new journal so I'm going to kind of explain all those things I'm going to be doing a planner lineup video for you guys a planning and journal lineup because it's going to be a corporate planning and journaling for this system so I'll leave that video linked in the cards once it's out it should be out sometime in August probably late early September and then also I just wanted to say I'm so happy we are growing almost every day and I'm so thankful for my stationary fam. I love you guys so much and I am filming this intro outside. I thought it'd be a great idea but then I got set up. It's really hot out here and so my phone is a couple of feet away from me and so I have my airpods in just to make sure that you guys can hear me. So it's really hot out here and I don't know why but I'm going to keep this set up. I really like and it looks nice to me but I don't know why I decided to film outside today it was just a random thought but yeah so without further ado let's get right on into my August plan with me so moving on to my August setup we're gonna be doing a clouds dreaming kind of thing this is very much inspired by one of those old Instagram story highlights I have I'll put it on the screen right now and I really wanted to make this a full bullet journal theme I thought it would do some really fun spreads and make the spreads look very dreamy and magical that's the kind of vibe i've been wanting to i think it's because i'm so ready to be out of 2020 and all the stuff that's been going on lately that any chance i get to pretend i'm somewhere else i take it so this is very much just like a cloud scene i know i've been doing a lot of clouds recently especially for april 2019 which is another cloud theme so if you guys want some more inspiration go check out my instagram and my phone page on the flip through <laughs> so i'm just going to be going in and doing some brown stripes I guess it looks like the sky is moving to me so then for this quote page I'm doing a quote from one of my favorite songs by Ariana Grande um REM which stands for rapid eye movement and it just says before you speak don't move because I don't want to wake up it's just a very nice quote I like to use it's really fun and dreamy to me and it really fit the theme perfectly so you're going to see that I use a couple of her quotes from that song again in my setup <laughs> to my monthly calendar I'm doing a six by six box and each day the six by six I just said that and I'm going to be doing all six rows I didn't cut off any of the dates because I just try to find a way to make them all fit and they all fit it on the spread fit it is probably not a word so on this empty space you see nothing sketched in or nothing's there at all I'm gonna be using that as a weekly task list instead of having a sectioned all space for a, on a different spread. There's pretty much this month is very simple, no extra monthly spreads besides a habit track and a content schedule, and then that's about it. And then we go move on to my weekly log. But I wanted to pare it down a little bit. Like I said, school starts back up this month. I come back home from a two or three months trip in my hometown, so I'm just trying to you know have a little bit more time to relax instead of kind of drawing even though drawing is relaxing for me so i'm gonna go in at the top i did a stripe and i'm just gonna go over there with my hand script lettering font and then i'm gonna create another cloud scene at the top the tombow colors will be linked in the description box below as well <laughs> i forgot to mention that and then also at the bottom i'm writing in another quote from the same song you're such a dream to me and that's it after I write the first task on this spread. So my habit tracker and content schedule, I'm going to be sharing a header. I'm going to be making an entire cloud scene that goes across both of the spreads, if that makes sense. You can see right here. So 
So with these clouds, they're pretty simple to draw in. All you have to do is make sure that you have some filled in, some not filled in, just outline. And then I have some brown strokes kind of make it look like they're moving and things like that. And then I have like a script lettering font to kind of add the same ethereal, magical, classy touch, I guess you can say. I don't know. So I'm just going to erase some of those postal lines so I can see where I want to put my headers at. And then I have habit tracker and then I just wrote in all the numbers for this one I just felt like I wanted to and so it looked nice it really did now at the bottom I have another cloud scene to match the top but on this one I made sure to put another moon on here because you know we didn't add a moon on the second one so why not add one here but on this moon I'm gonna add a white highlight I just felt like it needed it and I'm going at the top and add a stripe for each of my habit tracker headers in this content schedule. It's going to be pretty simple, four spaces across, five spaces down. I do not like this. I haven't used this at all yet. That's the funny thing. I don't like it. It's so big and not needed. I guess when I had my other journal, it was easier to visualize it. But now that I have this big journal and I have more pages, I guess you can say. I really don't need this kind of big calendar to plant out all of my videos because I'm trying to stick to one video a week, two max, but I guess at my old journal, I wasn't as consistent, so it wouldn't always be two, one video on Sunday, maybe another throughout the week. So now moving on to this week vlog, very simple, gonna be kind of keeping this way for a while to, unless things change. I am doing like a really style weekly log and so at the top I just have the header then I have weekly events at the bottom that have an empty section that I can use for gratitude log, task list, whatever it feels like I need it for that week. And then I'm just going to write in the header of Monday for you guys so you guys can see how I'm do the headers for that week and I'm just going to keep going off and each day when Monday's end I do a Tuesday header. So moving on to the flip through, this is it. I Like I said, this is a very minimal setup. All it is is really calendars, so I'm gonna hand you guys off to the outro. All right, guys, that's it for my August play with me. Like I said, I went simpler. I really do feel like my monthly setup was just filled with calendars. My monthly calendar, my habit tracker, content schedule, my weekly log. And I, like I said, I'm doing a whole entire video about my planning setup, my journaling system, and how everything's gonna work from now on. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media, such as Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and here on YouTube. And while you're here, you might as well subscribe and leave a comment. I like responding to you guys' comments. And that's about it for this video. So I hope, you guys, I hope to see you guys in the next one. And bye, my stationary fam.